Hi everyone, Claudia here from Lighting Clarity. Today's question to spirit is, what do you need to know right now? So we have Archangel Michael, Lady Kuan Yin, or Archangel Gabriel. Pick who has this message for you regarding what it is that you need to know right now. All right, without further ado, I will bring in Archangel Michael. Please bear with me. Thank you. So Michael comes to the heart center with this. He says a lot of you have been trying very hard and some of you have made a particular decision on something that you're not going to budge from, he says. So Michael says that you've actually entered a stream of energy that's going to take you further down your roads than you are or anticipated or that you were aware of. So it makes me feel that a lot of you are moving into the stream of manifestation. You've done a lot of groundwork. You've put a lot of foundations under your feet. You've quietly and carefully built your structures. And he says that as a result of that, you've moved yourselves into the manifestation stream. And you're going to find that your roads are going to lead you directly into some of the goals that you have. He says, some of you have had to let go of something or there's been some sort of realisation that's coming about someone or a situation or even a goal, something you're aiming for that you've had to let go of. He's just acknowledging those of you in that boat. He says, keep putting your steps in place, following your paths, trusting yourselves, trusting your footing as you move forwards. He says, you are going to make far more traction when you live like that than if you question yourself. He says, keep doing what you're doing, meticulously putting your feet one foot in front of the other, putting one step firmly in place towards what is that you want. He says, some of you are quite entrepreneurial-like, he says, and you are going to make far more strides over this next period coming in um, than you thought you would, than you thought you ever would. So he takes me into the time ahead. I want to go into next year. Um, I also want to go a little bit beyond next year. But he says right now is the planning point. A lot of you have done a lot of planning already and you are going to start to hit those goals that you have, some smaller ones. So small opportunities are actually going to become bigger ones and are going to be quite... Um, fortunate for you is what I'm getting they're going to be quite foot can't say the word but quite fortunate so smaller things and smaller opportunities that you're given will turn into bigger ones so the message here is keep doing the planning keep building your structures carefully you're going to get to where it is you're meant to get to you're going to get to even something that you've hoped for for a long time quietly come in and it's going to surprise you he said for some of you it's on a big front for some of you it's on a smaller front but he says nevertheless these things will come in i'm going to thank michael for coming in all right and for those of you who chose lady kuan yin i'll just bring her in thank you So Lady Kuan Yin is bringing the energy of faith and strength around you. She brings this especially around the heart center, all the way around it, especially at the front. So Lady Kuan Yin says there is some refining to do with a particular goal that you have. 
Um, there is more work to be done to bring this goal to fruition. She says there is some refining around this goal. So I'm being shown there will be some things you're going to let go of in order to bring this goal to fruition. There'll also be um, external help you're going to bring in to help you understand how to get to and bring this particular goal to fruition. It's all about goals, it seems to be today. Anyway, <laughs> that is what she's talking about. So she says, now is not the time to sit back and rest on your laurels. She says, you need to step up in order to attract what you want. You need to step up. You need to get moving. You need to start spinning those chakras. She says, you need to, even if you're not sure how to get things resolved, how to get things moving in your life, she says, you need to do something to start to spin that wheel of manifestation. Because at the moment, she says, it is not your ability to manifest is not moving as fast as it could be. She says it's not going to stay this way. She says it's going to begin to spill far, spin faster as you begin to move forward. Make some conscious effort in your life to put some steps in place towards what is it you want. Even if you're just doing the research and she says and you're looking this up on the internet, she says do the research and send the emails out. Start getting going. Start doing your brainstorming towards what is that you want, she says. And she says, I understand that some of you are afraid. You have been hurt. You have been let down previously. Things have not gone as they could be for you, for you have often said, what is the point? Every time I try, it does not occur. What I have wanted does not come. This always falls on me. I say to you, I am Lady Kuan Yin as I speak through the guide. This is indeed not the case. We have understood there have been life lessons for each of you. There have been a tying up of relationships and there has been a tying up of certain life cycles that needed to happen, needed to be. We say to you to lift yourselves out of this stream of energy you have been in and move yourself in, forward and through the next hoop that is coming in for you. There is no need to sit back anymore. There is no need to have this mindset to move in this energy you have been in. We say to you to become proactive, as the guide Claudia would put it, and move forwards. Move forwards and move in. I say to you that I am with you. You, in fact, have more than just myself. You have many, many guides who are coming forward to assist. In fact, we say to you, call upon those you want to help you with your particular life paths that you are on and we shall assist as best we can. We bring in the word of God. We bring in the energy of God. We bring in God's will. We ask you to be open to what is that God has for you. Open your hearts. Open your arms. Look up to the divine creator and say, I am ready for more that I'm asking for. I am ready for more good. Explain and declare what it is that you're wanting and needing. Say it out loud. Speak in your yards, in your garden. Speak in your homes. You need to make your energy ready. And that is what we are saying. For when you do this, you allow more in. You do not close to you what wants to come in. You do not shake your head at it. You do not become pessimistic. It is now about opening your energies and being ready for what it is that is coming in for you, for what it is that you are asking for, moving into that level of faith as I have brought this in around you to move you forward, to kickstart you forward if you like. Once again, we ask that you hear us. The Divine Creator comes around you. I am here to serve. I am Lady Kuan Yin. All right, I'm going to thank Lady Kuan Yin for coming in. That was a lot. Okay, as I move on to those of you who have chosen Archangel Gabriel, uh, please be with me while I bring Archangel Gabriel back in. Thank you. So Gabriel comes in with a really, really warm energy of love and support. He's just coming in with the energy of compassion towards each of you. So obviously there's, there's a need for this at the moment in some of your lives where he just comes in to comfort you and brings in that energy of compassion. He says he brings in the energy of understanding towards each of you. He 
he says that some of you have something in front of you that you have not been able to resolve. And you have not understood in how to resolve it. He says that he has been working with you to move through this. Some of you have been in a lot of emotional pain. He's just acknowledging that. Emotional pain over something or over someone. He says that he is aware of this and he walks with you. He says, I want you to follow your intuition. Your intuitions are growing louder within you and have been trying to get your intention. He says, we want you to listen within to what it is that your internal self needs from you and wants from you. Moving forwards now. Don't shush them down. Some of you have been shushing down a part of you. He says, they need to come up and they need to be heard. You need to listen to yourselves. You need to support yourselves and you need to carry yourselves into what is it you enjoy doing? He says, I want you to start doing what is it you enjoy doing, doing more of that. Really looking at what makes you laugh, what brings you joy. He says, in doing this, it's going to open up your path in a way in which it hasn't been opened before. He says, there are some predestined opportunities, some predestined events that need to come in for you uh, that you need to move through. They are on a good front. They're going to lead you down different paths. In fact, some of you are going to change careers, he says. Others of you are going to make some definite lifestyle changes. I'm seeing uh, people who are choosing to retire or people who are moving house, or people who are taking extended leave and going overseas and traveling. There are some more, there's just some different lifestyle changes that are coming that you're going to to enact, which you didn't think you would ever do, but you always hoped one day you could do. So he's also showing me for some of you, it's going to be a surprise, the turn of events within yourselves, which way you're going to head. He says all of this is to bring in the energy of transition, which is what wants to come in for each of you. He says it's right on the brink. You are not ready to reach it yet, but it, you are heading towards it. He says the way in which you do that is that you bring more joy into the heart, more love and more laughter, and that you start enjoying more of who it is that you are, and that you start enjoying the little things in life that's going to bring you up to that energy of transformation. He says as those gates open, he says, you will be able to pick which way to go. And you'll be in that energy of, hmm, you know, this is a bit exciting. It's very unknown to me, but I'm a bit excited as well as nervous. Which way am I going to head here? What am I going to do here? This looks good. I'm going to bring this in. He says, I want you to be optimistic as you move forwards. He says, tie up what needs to be tied up. He brings me through the energy of November being a bit thick for you, moving into the energy of December, there being an aha moment coming at the end of December where you feel a sense of relief, a relief moment. He says that what was has gone. What was, you have let go of, you've made a decision to move on. And there is that optimistic feeling that comes up within you, um, that excitement that starts to come up within you about what will be, about what could possibly come in. He says, be excited about the unknown. All right, I'm going to thank Archangel Gabriel for coming in. All right, well, many, many blessings. Happy weekend. I'll connect with all of you again next week. Thanks, everyone.